The Battle of the River Plate, a.k.a. Pursuit of the Groff's Bay in the United States, is a 1956 British war film in Technicolor and this division by the writer-director-producer team of Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. The film stars John Gregson, Anthony Quayle, Bernard Lee, and Peter Finch. It was distributed worldwide by Rank Film Distributors Limited. The film's storyline concerns the Battle of the River Plate, an early World War II naval engagement in 1939 between a Royal Navy force of three cruisers and the German pocket battleship Admiral Groff's Bay. Plot In the early months of the Second World War, Nazi Germany's Kriegsmarine sends out merchant raiders to attack Allied shipping. The heavily armed German pocket battleship the Admiral Groff's Bay sinks a British merchant vessel, the Africa Shell. The Africa Shell's crew is brought aboard the Admiral Groff's Bay. The Admiral Groff's Bay docks with its supply ship and more captured British seamen are brought aboard. Three weeks later, the Admiral Groff's Bay sinks another British vessel, the Doric Star. Her crew is also brought aboard. The Royal Navy responds with hunting groups whose mission is to stop these attacks on Allied shipping. The group that finds the Admiral Groff's Bay near South America is outgunned since Admiral Groff's Bay is equipped with long-range 11-inch, 279mm, guns, and the British heavy cruiser Exeter has much lighter 8-inch, 203mm, guns, and the light cruisers Ajax and Achilles have 6-inch, 152mm, guns. However, they go straight into the attack, closing swiftly to minimize the Groff's Bay's substantial advantage in range of shot. The British are led by Commodore Harwood, Anthony Quayle, with Captain Woodhouse, Ian Hunter, commanding flagship Ajax, Captain Bell, John Gregson, Exeter and Captain Perry, Jack Gwillem, Achilles. The British use their superior numbers to split or fire by attacking from different directions, but Admiral Groff's Bay, under Captain Hans Longstorff, Peter Finch, inflicts much damage on her foes. Exeter is particularly hard hit and is forced to retire from the battle. Admiral Groff's base sustains some damage and takes refuge in the neutral port of Montevideo, Uruguay, for repairs. According to international law, the ship may remain in a neutral harbor only long enough to repair for seaworthiness, not to refit for battle. The British initially demand the Uruguayan authorities send Admiral Groff's Bay out to sea within 24 hours, but once they recognize that reinforcements can arrive for an impending second battle they change strategy and lobby for an extension for the Germans. In reality the most powerful British ships are still extremely distant, but local media spreads false reports that more Royal Navy warships have arrived, including battleships and aircraft carriers, in fact, only three cruisers, Exeter having been replaced by HMS Cumberland, lie in wait. Taken in by the ruse, Longstorff takes his ship out with a skeleton crew aboard. As the onlookers watch from shore, she heads down the river plate for the open sea, bursts into flames from a series of explosions and is scuttled. That is a relief to the Royal Navy fleet, which reports, many a life has been saved today. Later, aboard a German merchant ship in the inner harbor, Longstorff is complimented for his humane decision by British merchant marine captain Dove.